Let's focus on using the wiring gauge calculator. Note that using this calculator will require some technical knowledge to use. If you are not comfortable with this, please contact us so we can give you support with choosing a proper wiring size. To start, go to the guide and download section of our website and find the data sheet for the panel you are considering or have already purchased. In this data sheet, Locate the electrical characteristics section and find the operating voltage and current. Write these values down to use. Do not use the open circuit voltage or short circuit current. For our example, we'll use a single 100 watt monocrystalline panel with a voltage of 18.9 and a current of 5.29 amps. Returning to the calculator, we'll enter this information into the required spaces. Next, determine the length of wire you'll run from the panel to the controller. For our example, we'll use 30 feet. And lastly, determine an acceptable voltage loss percentage for the panel. We will recommend not exceeding 5%, which is what we will use here. Then click Calculate. For us, this results in a recommended wire gauge of 14. If we wanted less loss in the cable, we could change this value to 2%, which would give us a 10 gauge cable, which is thicker. As a last example for the wiring, what if you have more than one panel? To do this, you need to determine whether your panels are wired in series or parallel. For series wiring, the voltages add while the current remains the same. Conversely, if they are parallel, the current adds while the voltage stays the same. So for example, if we now had three 100 watt panels with the same electrical specifications, we could check the series wiring. Using the same 30 feet and 2% loss in the calculator, the voltage would now be the voltage of a single panel, 18.9, multiplied by 3 which would give us a 56.7 voltage. Plugging this into the calculator would give us a wiring gauge of only 14. For parallel, we use the same voltage of 18.9 and multiply the current, 5.29, by 3, which gives us an amperage of 15.87. Plugging this into the calculator gives us a large gauge of 4. As you can see, the less wire length and the more voltage, the lower the required wiring gauge and therefore cheaper wiring we invite you to share your questions and comments. Feel free to post your thoughts below. We check our YouTube feed daily and we'll respond to your questions. We pride ourselves on quality products and service, so if you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us with our technical support team at 1-800-330-8678.